Hey, my brothers and my sisters, this is Fire. Um, I just wanted to share with you all, um, on August 10th, I put up a video, a prophecy that God was telling me about um, famine in the land. Um, and then a few days later after that, I was telling y'all about the inflation in the food prices that I was noticing. And as I was scrolling around on YouTube, here was a video that popped up. Food shortages, empty shelves at Walmart, weekend update, Dallas, Oregon. So it has already began, like I was trying to tell y'all. Um, as you can see, this video was posted August 14th. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and play it for y'all. I don't own the rights to any music in this video. I don't own the rights to anything. I'm simply sharing with you what is going on in the world um, from another YouTube video. So here it goes. Welcome back. So I just want to do real quick uh, weekend update. I'm out of town. I'm actually in Dallas, Oregon. Spend some time with my mom and dad. And I'm going to be putting up some pictures that were sent to me actually from my dad a couple days ago from a U.S. food store. If you're not familiar with what that is, it's kind of like a, it caters more towards small businesses, restaurants, things like that. They get all their paper products like coffee cups, uh, things like that, and a lot of bulk items. So it's almost kind of like a smaller Costco, but without the minimum it should be, but definitely caters more towards small local businesses. So there's a few pictures of those. I'm going to go ahead and I'll put those up. And sorry about road noise. I'm outside. I'm right next to the road, so I apologize for any other noise coming in. And then I just got back from Walmart down here. I haven't been to before. It's a it's a smaller Walmart for sure. It's pretty tight in there. Shells are not definitely not as long or as deep as some of your bigger uh, Walmarts. But I just kind of want to get an idea since I'm kind of a little out a uh, couple miles from where I, I live. So about 20 minutes from Salem. If you guys aren't familiar where Dallas, Oregon is, took a bunch of some pictures inside uh, Walmart just kind of see. Shells they have now, the ones I didn't include. Wow, not all of them. I was just trying to get a, a few, just kind of give you guys an idea. Like, mm. cans. I talk about shorts and stuff like that a lot, but I don't always really show a whole lot of what's going on. So, this time I want to have boots on the ground type of video. I didn't film in there, I just took pictures because some places get kind of weird about your filming, and I don't want to get into that type of thing. So, uh, put those pictures up. Wow. Oh, and, and we not even, I didn't even mention the, the wildfires in the wild. Understand what's going on, that they are actually That's a part of the judgment. More feedback from you guys too, as far as where you're at. I've been hearing a lot more other places are having shortages of certain things. You know, I get the water, paper products, cost of things just in general, the general inflation going up. So I think somebody said something about $15 a pound for beef. Fifteen dollars for ground beef. The inflation. Ridiculous. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it here, y'all. You can go and look this video up on your own, along with a lot of other ones. Um, food shortages, empty shelves at Walmart. Weekend update, Dallas, Oregon. Okay. So I just wanted to keep y'all in um updated. Um, you know, the prophecy that God gave me is being fulfilled. And I just want you all to be prepared. Okay. So um, with that being said, may love, peace, and blessings be upon you and your family. This is fire. Until next time. Shalom.